Hey guys, me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. It's the Geek Week Plus, and we are here with Emily Bader and Lenny from the Hasbro team. Guys, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Yeah, good, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> it's uh, coming up to Ghostbuster season. I'm getting excited for the merch to see it slowly drop for pre-order. Yes, I hope that everybody is very excited. The um, I know in the U.S., the Fright Features, the Kenner Fright Features figures have started coming out in stores in mm -hmm. Target, which is really exciting. So they'll be launching um, up to, I think it's at the beginning of April, they open up to other retailers and online. And they are, I think of all the things, that and then the Ecto collection, oh my gosh, the little Stay Pops and oh, the little timers are just, the first, <laughs> the first time I saw those in their own, so um, Pat on our team designed the the boxes for those in their mm. own little containment units, like the yep. cutest thing in the whole world. <laughs> that is really cool. Uh, I was a big fan of the Star Wars ones that came out with the baby Ahsokas and Grogu's and oh, yeah. yes. uh, really oh, good. God, so this is like so a natural cool. continuation of that, isn't it? It's a nice little collection. We had, mm. Yeah. We give away so many bounty collection figures at conventions because they are the perfect convention giveaways because mm -hmm. everybody thinks that they are adorable and they're like a good size to kind of stick in your bag. They don't take up too much room. So they're, in my mind, one of the, the perfect toys. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they went live, the internet went wild with, oh my God, is there a baby? Is the baby Slimer going to be in this movie now? Because <laughs> it's like a baby styled slime. As everyone's like, is that in the movie? <laughs> He's just so cute. I don't think it's there's any so in the movie, but we can all <laughs> pretend like he is there. He's there oh. in spirit. <laughs> but um, in the UK, we've not got anything dropped as of yet. We've only got pre-orders up, but we have we have slowly started okay. to see some some little things drop. Like we've got the Gujitsu's Stay Puff now. A few little things yep. are dropping there in the UK, but uh, I'm looking forward to those Fright figures. They look amazing. Very nostalgic of my they're, childhood. They're so good. And as everybody is noting, Egon's tie is just really, really crispy this time around. Yeah. It's not... <laughs> Not gonna break off. We we did our due diligence. Like that tie is staying on. <laughs> well, the question that the internet has been has been wondering and asking. And I'm not sure if you guys can even say anything. I won't push it if you can't. But um, is there going to be some plasma series figures this time around? We'll have to see. Okay, no worries. I thought that was going to be the case, but I thought I'd try anyway. Yeah. <laughs> good, good attempt. We appreciate it. We can't comment on, on potential no upcoming problem. figures. So. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, after seeing the trailer and obviously with the red jump, the red um, Parker, everyone's like, we need those in figures now. Oh, the red Parkers are so cool. I feel like every time we have a team meeting, we're all like, so how do we get the red parkas to wear? Because that's really what we would like to be wearing the next time we have to hype Ghostbusters for something. Mm -hmm. So I want a red parka, but I also don't want to pay $1,800 for a red parka to have to modify myself. Yeah. So, you know, it's a it's a balance. It's a push and shove. Yeah, there's a, there's a magazine here in the UK called Empire, which is like our movie magazine. Yep. Um, and we just had the um, the picture of Janine in the flight suit. Yeah, with Janine in the, in the oh, suit. J Everybody went nuts for when they saw that picture of Janine. She looks mm -hmm. so cool. And what a nice way to kind of round out the uh, the OG Ghostbusters crew by finally giving Janine her her official moment in the Ghostbusters flight suit. So yeah, good. Definitely. I think after that, the last film where she had start like a slight appearance, it'd be cool to see her a little bit more in this one, hopefully. Yep. Yeah, fingers <laughs> crossed. I haven't actually seen the film yet, so I am excited. I am excited with everybody else to get yeah. to learn everything about what we'll get to be experiencing. Yeah. And I think that's the thing as well. I think everyone assumes that Hasbro guys get to see all of the ins and outs before the films come out. And it's not always the case. Oh, n no, not that's like at a misconception, all. I isn't it? When, when I was on uh, the Dungeons and Dragons toy line, we got to read an early draft of the script so that we kind of had an understanding of yeah. how the, how to tie the toys in. But the script then changed so many times while we were still doing toy production that by the time I saw the final movie, and sorry, my cat is deciding to say hello. Um, <laughs> by the time we saw the final movie, everybody was like, oh, this is so much different than the script that we read. Um, so even if you get to read it to begin with, you are always still kind of surprised pleasantly. Uh, yeah. Not pleasant. Uh, still and get to be surprised with everybody else. You're separated from the creation of it, too, because you're not yeah. creating it. You're working on the mm. toy line. So like when you're making a movie, yeah. you're making anything. Like, there's things that get tweaked and massaged as you're doing it, too. So that, like we would have no idea that it was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you also don't get the visuals with it while you're reading the script. So it's really kind of, it's like reading a book and then having the book mm. magically show up as a movie. Um, so it's cool mm. to, it's really cool to see kind of the evolution from the, the written word to the actual finished product. 
Yeah, but it's uh, it's it's cool to see you mention Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons because um, big fan of the Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, Yawning um, Portal was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. Uh, I was. I've been. I've been obsessed with this game since it came out. I can't lie. The fact that you can play it's it solo really as good. well as with friends, I like yeah. that idea. I can just sit on my desk and just have it rolling while I'm sat at home. Mm -hmm. Love that. Um, but no, the uh, the archive line, especially the um, the uh, RA Salvatore figure that you made, mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. the golden archive one. That that. Pff, yeah. Chef's kiss. Oh, that is beautiful. Figure. That oh, is my Gretchen. favorite of a lot. I'm so sorry. Gretchen would really like everybody to acknowledge that she exists Hi, Gretchen. today. Hi, Gretchen. Hi, Gretchen. <laughs> Thank you so much. She, um, it's so cold here right now. There's like a layer of ice on everything, and she's just a tiny old lady cat. So she is seeking any heat that she can. So I have a heater yeah. that is like a heat vent in front of my desk that she sits on. But then she's like, wait, but the human's warm. So maybe I'll just sit on her instead. She's like, there, I get it. <laughs> Um, obviously, Emily, you were on the Power Rangers team as well, were you? Is that right? I was. Yeah, I dabble yeah. in many, many things. You dabble in, that's <laughs> it. You're, you're on a lot of teams nowadays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Power, Power Rangers, is there, is there anything we, that we can, you can say or anything we can talk about Power Rangers-wise that's coming up? There, so, at least for the time being, the Power Rangers, we're taking a little bit of time off from doing Power yeah. Rangers toys as we're kind of yeah. figuring out the what's happening next with the brand. Um, so kind of stay tuned for news on Power Rangers. Unfortunately, nothing else that we can add at this point. Yeah, because I know, I know one thing that we, I think the fans would all love is coming up to the anniversary of the movie, as much as it was hated back in the day, but is now beloved. Uh, Ivan Ooze was the yeah, name? Yeah, yeah. Ivan Ooze. Ivan Ooze, dude. Ivan <laughs> Ooze is so cool. What a great action figure that would be. <laughs> His, he, was, he was bonkers, too, because I, I wasn't a big Power Rangers kid, but I remember how yeah. bonkers he was in the movie. Yeah, he, he was, was he was a really weird bad guy. And obviously we had yeah. the, I can never remember his name, the, like, the, the pig as well that was like that was with Goldar, because they didn't use oh, the man. other two, they used, the, they used them. Squat, Squat and Baboon, they didn't use them two, they used the little pig guy. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was strange. I always yeah. thought that was weird as a kid when they would do, like, Toka and Razor were awesome in the Ninja Turtle movies, but like, yeah. why wasn't a Bebop and Rocksteady? I was, I was like, what? Yep. I was cool with them, but I'm like, what? what I pick a Bebop and Rocksteady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, the, the guy in my local comic book store really wishes that Toka and Razor did exist. Every time I walk in, I'm just like, babies. Every time I see him on the shelf, I got oh, all babies. <laughs> I love that scene. He gets so mad. <laughs> I love that movie so much. <laughs> but, um, the 90s were a fun time. <laughs> oh, they were a very fun time. And I, I, I tell you what, with the crossover line that you guys did for Power Rangers and Turtles. Yeah, it was awesome. That was amazing. The Shredder figure in that is just, oh, Jeez. I love that guy. <laughs> that was a lot of fun to work on. I remember doing that photo shoot and our photographer, Rachel, sitting with her while she was actually building that sewer set yeah. out. And then Corey, who was our sculptor on the line, him coming in and posing out all of the figures and there was one shot for the photos that i don't remember if it actually i'm sure we used it for something but he had them all balancing in like a turtle pyramid yeah. and That's it cool. was incredible like no supports no nothing he is just that good at posing things it's <laughs> incredible the things that that man can do with action figures in terms of making them look realistic is next level <laughs> mm, definitely and um, obviously you're on the G.I. Joe team as well, uh, you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We dabble in many, many things. I mean, Lenny gets to have... Fewer, I have to share um, her with I, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> he does. <laughs> I'm a hot commodity at work. Yeah. <laughs> but, she does I good mean, work. She does good work. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think it's been really fun on G.I. Joe lately because, I mean, we're... We're now at the point of the brand where we can start kind of branching out a little bit more. Like we've hit mm -hmm. most of the the kind of A plus level characters, the the ones that everybody is um, everybody's kind of when you think of the yeah, Joe, these are the characters yeah. you immediately think of. So now we get to start getting into some of the deeper dives, some of the more mm -hmm. niche things that are really fun. Um, so Lenny's been having a field day getting to work on some of those. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll get into some characters that are like kind of different people will know them mm. but they're like they kind of speak to the essence of the brand like accessories that like kind of enhance the universe or the, the world we're trying to make on shelf which gets super it's exciting for me as a toy designer like i'm trying mm. to make a shelf that's a world of so we'll yeah. start getting into these different types of accessories different types of tasks or different types of archetypes that the characters are so when it starts getting to another like another level of fulfillment not only are we getting characters we know and love we're getting accessories, parts, and pieces that like just broaden the horizons of the collection. 
definitely. Yeah. And I, I think mean, with those accessories, a lot of it is still too that those accessories really can mix and match across the different oh, yeah. characters. So you can really kind of, it's a choose your own adventure world of G.I. Joe, yeah. where if you're like, I really want somebody to do this job, but I really like the color scheme on this figure, you really mm. can kind of mix and match those accessories yeah, yeah. to fulfill whatever your hope and dream is. Brilliant. Yeah, one of my favorite figures from the line uh, so far is Sergeant Slaughter, just because, again, from the cartoon yeah. as a kid, I always want, I love, and I'm a big wrestling fan as well. And um, there were there were a few crossovers like like that back in the day. Is there? Do you think there'll be any crossovers in the future that you guys would like to attempt to do? Because I mean, yes. there's a lot of there's a lot of like uh, like like one that's always popped in my mind for like a modernized version of like a Sergeant Slaughter would surely be like a Corporal John Cena or something like a modern. You wouldn't be able to see him. You'd have to make him invisible. Oh, you made the <laughs> yeah. You beat me to it. You beat me to it. I was going to say it would have to have a, it would have to have a see through box on that one because you wouldn't see him. Oh, you beat that would be too. awesome. He's a really cool dude too. All that like stuff he does for like like foundations. And That's kids. what things like yeah with the oh, military man. and stuff as well. And yeah. it'd be cool to get him involved in like a GI Joe figure because he's he's the perfect guy for it really. Yeah, build we and love to do stuff like that because it's kind of the essence of the brand. They were doing it back in the day a lot, so it's mm -hmm. like I'd love to do it again. And like, what is it through the lens of two thousand twenty four, five, six? Whenever we do. Mm -hmm. um, because it's like it's just part of it, and like Joe's got that level of realism, so yeah. it's like, yeah, a really cool actor or a really cool athlete, or or somebody would show up, would be cool. Yeah, yeah it's, cool. and I think that I mean we said it before, we'll keep saying it, but that it's so cool because GI Joe is really kind of a reflection. Whatever version of GI Joe you grew up with was a reflection mm -hmm. of the era in which it was made. The brand yeah. has kept evolving over the years to kind of continue to reflect the world around it. And so I yeah. think that it fits in perfectly with kind of that, the the vibe of the brand overall. Mm -hmm. American Gladiators. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You say American Gladiators. Gladiators has just come back here in the UK. We've got a whole new oh, season really? with the original, yeah, with the original theme song and everything. We've, we've just come back in the UK with a whole new cast. So that's, uh, that's good. we're I, learning so many things today. <laughs> but on the um on on the sort of gi joe front as well with the with the big sort of ending to the transformers movie with the crossover concept that's coming oh, yeah. out obviously hasbro owns both licenses if i'm right for gi joe and transformers um i'm looking forward to seeing what that that brings to the toy world on the horizon i've got to admit yeah we are, we are too. i mean you can kind of see yeah. emily jump in if i'm like yapping too much um <laughs> like with the with the mole rats we added energon right so we mm -hmm. want to like the technologies can blend a little bit. It's Hasbro's, it's Hasbro's own properties. Like we can, we can play. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And with the new Energon universe that comics are doing, it's mm. the comic look absolutely incredible. So, comic look. The Duke hmm? book and the Cobra Commander book. The Duke. Oh yeah, I got oh. early screeners of them. They're so good. Oh, the Cobra <laughs> Commander one is so sick. <laughs> I think Sorry. that it is, and it's really cool because it's kind of giving us, as a brand that hasn't had a lot of new entertainment lately, we had the Snake Eyes movie that came out in, was that 21? But mm -hmm. that we are, it's we're in an interesting place as a brand just because there is not a lot of modern entertainment that goes along with G.I. Joe. And mm -hmm. so now to have this kind of, this new modern reboot of the, the brand that is so different from the existing Real American Hero comic line that Larry Hama has been writing. It's mm. just really cool to kind of see what the characters can do. Oh, do you have one on you? Mine are on my kitchen table. Mm. Is it out yet? Yeah. Out yet? Is <laughs> it? It's either early out or it's coming out in like the next couple weeks, maybe. I, I love the way they approached. Yeah. The lore. I, I I do. I do. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is out. I feel like I should Google this now. The Duke one. I think Duke Junior yeah. one's out. That one's. Yeah. Please check that out. Uh, yes, that out. it is. We're not shamelessly plugging our own IP and and, and uh, company property. <laughs> oh, it came out yesterday. But it's really oh good. God, it's so timely with this. <laughs> yeah, it is very good. <laughs> That's cool. Well, I'm, I'm a big fan of the Boom Studios comics of the Power Rangers, and that that got me yeah. back into the Power Rangers franchise. So when you guys started doing more of the Boom Studios products, that drew me back into that line very quickly. Um, yeah, like the, yeah. Beautiful. yeah. I like wasn't, yep. wasn't really into that art style. This like grips you. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, I I just got in the the Boom Studios Kickstarter that just shipped for uh, their latest Power Rangers round. So my Power Rangers varsity jacket is sitting on the chair behind me. Nice. But I think that it's it's great. 
Um, but I think that both Boom Studios and Skybound right now are doing such good jobs with the the brands and the comics and mm. treating the stories with with reverence doesn't quite seem like it's the right word, but like they are they're staying true to the heritage of the brand while continuing to push the storylines and like the brands forward into the future. And I think that that is something that is incredibly difficult to do because there is a balance of kind of honoring the past while kind of continuing to push it forward, but they're nailing it. Yeah. Brilliant. I mean, yeah, the Power Rangers line, I mean, I mean this guy surprised me. Uh, where's he gone? Ah, I, I just picked up the oh, mind. Oh yeah. Minotaur. Yeah, Minotaur. Yep. I had to get him the other day. Um, he's, he's a big figure. He's bigger than I expected, to be honest. You didn't take that thing. Yeah. He's he's bigger yeah. than my Mythic Legion. So I've got the Mythic Legion's Krampus still out yeah. from Christmas. And he's bigger than him. Like, wow. I didn't get the Krampus. I should have got the Krampus. <laughs> I, was, I was like, I, I don't always go in on the, was Obscura? Yeah, I got, figure Obscura. I got the Monkey King, though. I had to get the Monkey King. He's... <laughs> Yeah, let me just, let me just tease the, you. I'll tease you a little bit. Your favorite of the, oh, oh, good. <laughs> did they do an all black um, version too, or am I imagining? Yeah, they did, they did a black version That's too. That's the one I want. The old black version. So. <laughs> Sorry, Emily, what we say? <laughs> oh no, of the so of the Power Rangers monsters that we did, are mm -hmm. is the Minotaur your favorite? Do you think? Uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, because I'm a big collector of yeah. uh, sort of monsters as well, and he, he fits into the, obviously the Power Rangers line and setup. But if I put him with like the other stuff, like the Mythic Legion things, he doesn't look out of place. Uh, yeah. he's, he's useful in, in other re like areas as well. Yeah. But um, the Pumpkin King is my personal favorite of all the. Sorry, the Pumpkin Rapper is my personal favorite of all the uh, villains, just because it's so. Oh, pumpkin Rapper. Yeah. I think it's crazy. I love it. And the fact <laughs> that he included all the pumpkin heads to put on that the put his. Oh, the Rangers? So, yeah, sorry, so the Rangers. Good. Yeah. That was actually the very first fan stream that I ever did. Um, <laughs> so it was the, it was two months after I started on Power Rangers. Hmm. The guy that I was covering for for his paternity leave had left and they were like, oh my God, what are we going to do about this fan stream? I was like, I'll do it. And they're like, are you <laughs> sure? What do you, what, how do you do on camera? I'm like, I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> but that was, that was the very first show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, evidently I do just fine. So you know. Well, you love you the stuff you, you work on, so it makes it easy. Like if you didn't love the stuff you work on, the camera yeah. stuff, extremely mm. difficult. You know. Yeah. So, but shows you really like what you do, so it comes great. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I that the... is definitely one of the advantages that we have. We we yeah. love what we get to do. Well, that's the thing. All of my favorite franchises are held in the like Hasbro. So I'm I'm a I'm a Hasbro fanboy at heart. I've got uh, Power Rangers, Marvel, you know, Star Wars. It's all there. So. Uh, <laughs> All my favorite IPs with you guys, but um, I was very lucky to be part of the fan wall when you did that. If you remember when when you did the um, yes the stream, uh, yeah. Yep. I'll, was I'll... that oh fan fest? Was that when we did that? Mm. Yeah, I was. I was on the fan wall with all like react like we had to do live reactions to what you guys were doing. Yeah, uh, that and, was uh, fun. Yeah, they kept they kept they kept choosing my face every so often because I was ridiculously over like you. Know, uh, it was like, what what was it? I can't remember what it, what it was you announced, and I was like yeah, I like got ridiculously excited <laughs> about it. <laughs> that's how we imagine everybody's faces look whenever we're doing videos. So that's that's our kind of like this is your neutral face when we're when we're uh, uh, presenting things. I actually then imagine, we're just so overwhelmed. <laughs> I imagine I'm so such a designer. I imagine the opposite. I always think it was like, oh, you're doing that. That's what you did. <laughs> it's like it's not good enough. <laughs> you know, I was. Yeah, I remember. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's a designer brain. We all have. So all designers are plagued by it. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we are we are coming towards the end of the of, of, of the chat here, but I mean, what what is there? Is there something like twenty twenty four is a big year? We've got a lot coming out. We've got a lot coming. I'm guessing. Uh, would you say that it's going to be a, a, a great year for collectors of the Hasbro products? Is there some great products coming out this year? I know you can't really say a lot of what's coming out, but oh, yeah. I would, yeah, I would get where I'm leading. The, the things. <laughs> The things that we've, and it's so interesting because we kind of get to talk with the other development teams and we get to learn kind of what they're working on and everything that I've seen looks cool. Like there's yeah. nothing that I've seen where I've been like, oh, that's, that's what we're doing. Oh no. But so I'm hoping that everybody else will have kind of the same, the same feelings and the same emotions that I have when I see stuff and I go, holy smokes that is this is this is something that's really special white white was showing me some stuff yesterday and i was like 
I got so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they've got some they've got some big anniversaries and stuff coming oh, up with Marvel. They've what, got some yeah. great products coming out. I didn't even know the character that well. It just resonated with me on all sorts of levels because it was <laughs> all the crazy stuff I like. Hmm. You, this is figure of the year, dude. You got figure, and it's cool to see. Like coming back to the office, we work more hybrid now. Like we got a heavy day, we got to do a lot of input work. It's mm. home. We got a meeting where we got to review product and hand we use to go to the building. So those days are nice because we end up like sharing stuff with each other and all that. But like some of the stuff that we're getting able to see from other teammates, like going into the like, 24, 25, I think you can mm. see from Hasbro a lot of like pushed boundaries on lines and like, extensions that kind of give more. Uh, more breath to the line if you would yeah. so i'm super excited about it. i can't wait to get to when they're all that stuff's released um because a lot of the guys are doing some really good work and i just can't wait for people to have it have fun with it that's brilliant so now everybody gets to guess what that figure is that lenny's referring to over the course oh of the comments so, will be wild later with that i'm going to promise so you metal like <laughs> everything about it like like I, I knew of the old school version of the character, and then this thing that he's doing, I'm like, dude, this guy, what? This thing is. <laughs> I, I don't want to say anything because it'll give it away, but like, it just sounds like a like a, like a heavy metal breakdown. Like, it looks like a heavy metal breakdown. It, it's so good. Sorry, I'm gonna stop. I keep on gushing today. <laughs> no, it's all, perfect. It's, all it's, the... it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If all the rumors for the if all the rumors for the Deadpool movie come out as to, to be true, let's put it that way. They're, they're, they're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> it was so obscure, it was obscure to me. I'm sure a Marvel fan would know exactly who it was, but it was nothing like that. It was just like <laughs> this is so metal, dude. I'm so <laughs> else. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate your time joining us today. It's been really fun talking yeah. to you. So thank you very much. Thank you so much yeah, for having us. Having. It's been so lovely. <laughs> no worries. I'll speak to you soon. Thank you.